What did you just say? <laughs> We're selling all of our belongings and moving into an RV. Yeah. <laughs> Coffee makers, table, husky lamp. Just sold our bed. The chair that she's sitting on, mattress. Let's sell this table. Uh, Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday, we get the RV. T minus two days, one night. What? So we get the RV. I'm talking to the camera. We just got rid of the table. Table's gone. This is the only light we have in the house, which is also for sale. Um, <laughs> We have the couches, the TV, a TV in the bedroom, and the bed, which we're gonna try to put in the RV just to see how it looks, feels. Just a mattress. What? Just a mattress. We sold the bed. Just the mattress. We sold the bed. Yeah. Second to last night, we're cooking up some uh, buffalo cauliflower. They're super delicious. And, uh, not seeing that table there was just like super surreal and I really wish that I had documented it leaving but check this out 600 what? Five. 605 bucks from selling everything it's going right to the tow package fund all right we got to do one last uh we gotta do it quick because the, the couch guy's coming but this is Melissa's chunk of the deposit. Bye bye money. <laughs> but tomorrow is the day. So we're gonna go get the uh, certified check to give to the, the uh, dealership, to La Mesa. And we're also trying to come up with a name. And I think we have a name. <laughs> I think. <laughs> All right. <laughs> place is so empty. I mean, I know that's what happens when you move. I didn't even move in here. I met Melissa, she already had the place, and then I came here, and for whatever reason, something just snapped. I'm like, this feels comfortable. This feels like home. This feels like I wanna be tortured by two pit bulls. Kinda of sad to leave a place, but it was only like seven months ago, and it feels like years, and now we're moving into an RV. Tebow, say hi. <laughs> what do we have left for furniture? This. <laughs> this awesome chair. Should anybody want it? Okay. So we have the Today Show. watching that she'd puke everywhere <sighs> I think I just wrapped up the last workout at the Planet Fitness in Cape Coral I don't know what's next might might be back next one might be somewhere in like I don't know Virginia look at that sunset oh hey bad well today's the day <laughs> what are we doing <laughs> it's so funny because it takes so long to get to this day and then about two days before everything happens like this and it's magically here so we got about 20 minutes out from our orientation and final inspection and dropping off the check for the rv the rv, RV. <laughs> This is real. I finally signed this Bible of paperwork. And this bad boy is ours. Finally. They did a great job. I got this thing called the Eco Pro where 
They put a coating on the outside so you don't have to wax it for five years. They spray everything inside, microbes and, and bacteria, it kills it all. And it's just an amazing thing. Also, it covers your spills, like so much stuff. I'll run through everything, but look at this. <laughs> this is my house. Finally, do you know how good it feels? Um, if, if you're just starting your journey of shopping, I feel your pain. You go through a whole bunch of different coaches. I went through every one of them, and I highly recommend you do it. You sit in them, you're like, ah, oh, the sales guy's here. It never feels like home when there's a sales guy in there, but uh, this is mine now. This is good. There goes Melissa. She's looking at it. <laughs> it just feels so good to be like, this is my home. We are going to hit the road. <sighs> Man. I just got to go park this in the driveway now and uh, load our stuff in our new house. So it's Friday, August 11th. That was my grandpa's birthday. Happy birthday, grandpa. We're, we're on our way for your party on Sunday. Today we're gonna leave. We've packed this thing up. Um, I need to watch a documentary on how to become a minimalist. Reason being, we have a lot of stuff. Um, and we also have to figure out where the dog crates are going back here. I have no idea. You ready? This is the beginning of our adventures. <laughs> Do you want to say a little travel prayer? Uh, no. <laughs> Dear Lord, baby Jesus wrapped up in a little blue blanket, keep us safe on our travels and let us have the most exemplary, badass time in the world. Amen. Amen. Is exemplary a word? Sure. Okay. Exemplary time. All right, here we go. Super slow, but while you're fueling up and you have time, make sure you check your cables. Everything's feeling good, looking good. Everything's nice and tight. This is a great tow system, man. I'm pretty impressed. Making a uh, shake while we're still getting some fuel here. Hopefully, I don't uh, short out the generator. Sensor up front, we have a little readout screen, and uh, it said it needed to set the brake up. So I came back here, dead. So a man over here is helping me jump the Jeep so that we can get the braking to work so I can figure out how for it to not die again. So it's one of two things either uh, the uh, another power cord needs to be run to the battery, or um, I need a new braking system. This one works, but it drains the battery too much too quick. That guy, that guy jumped us. Uh, we're gonna try this again. I made a turn just like <laughs> every other turn I did for the past four and a half hours. And this cabinet just went blowing open. Adventure, right? <laughs> uh. All right, 
so the time is 9.17, 9.17. I just got to my parents' house. I'm taking some of my stuff and putting it in my closet. I don't feel as bad doing that because I just took it back about seven months ago and now I'm just putting it back. I'm helping my sister move her stuff up north. Who's up? The world. The world? Yeah. Hey. Hey, world. Um, and then look at my old tucky boy here. Can you see yourself? Say hi. Your eyeball looks like it hurts. So, yeah. Ow. So, I still want to get another like four hours of driving in. It's going to be a long day, but we'll rest up at a rest stop or a Walmart or somewhere, crash out for the night, and then get to Jersey by tomorrow. On to moving stuff back into the RV. All right, we got Maria in the RV. Yep. Melissa's got 18 uh, heads of celery, if that's how you count celery and heads. You ready to roll? I go. Are you Snapchatting? No, I'm sending a picture. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's sending a picture. And we're going to go. It's late. It's 1.46 a.m. Parked in front of a Chili's. <laughs> and the Home Depot. I got both the slides out. The things that make the... RV bigger. Put the auto levelers on. My sister's posted up on the couch with the two dogs. It's like a home. But damn, driving can be hectic sometimes. The Jeep is still, um, Jeep is still dead. Dead as a door now. Like, can't even. No, we gotta turn it. True story. Well, that's enough out of me. I'm passing out. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Day two. Of possibly four. Because <laughs> I'm already going nuts. Hey!